Oh God. Oh. Good shot, Nacho. Holy crap. Okay, you got one guy. You can go back in the car now. You did your duty. I am so sorry, you guys. My mic crapped out like literally the first 15 minutes of the show, even though I tested it beforehand. Um, thank God it wasn't the whole show. About, yeah, 15 minutes in, it uh, is fine. So, um, yeah, still sucks. But anyway, yeah, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching. This is probably going to be a shorter video because like I said, the first 15 minutes, uh, you can't hear me at all. And, um, yeah, but then after that, uh, the mic is fine. So I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to get to Better Call Saul season four, episode four. And, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Thanks for watching. Sorry I have to skip some of the beginning. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you watching. Alrighty, friends. Enjoy. So while watching this, I at first thought it was Jimmy and his dad, but soon realized it was um, Mike and Maddie. He wanted me to talk. I talked. This part here, I had no idea what was going on at first, but I wanted to include it because it does come into play later on in the episode, as I <laughs> realize as it's happening later on. Done. Okay guys, I realize like the first 15 episodes set up the rest of the episode and I feel bad like taking all of that out, but um, I will just give you my thoughts on kind of the important parts. So Jimmy rejecting the job and then after talking to Kim, he calls back and accepts the cell phone job. I thought it was really funny and, um, and yeah, you'll see the rest of my thoughts on that in the episode um, when my sound comes back in. And then Kim yes, here uh, sitting in court, um, I didn't want to take all that out because that's a big part of the episode as well with how she's, you know, her mental state is and stuff um, and how she was asking Jimmy to see a therapist as well. Um, so yeah, I most of that's going to be cut out, obviously, but... No, Your Honor, just Hopefully, um, it's not too bad, and you guys still enjoy it. Okay, so after this should start the actual sound, and hopefully this won't happen again. Um, I actually ordered a new mic last night, and or er, yesterday, and I'm excited to get it, so yay! So my next video, I'll see you with my new mic. I better go. I told Stacy I'd be there. I wonder if she sure. ever is going to find her husband in this show probably not but it's just a thought you know speaking of group i've been thinking about reaching out to henry i think he needs a friend who's henry henry's fine you talk to him don't need to then how do you know because that dead wife he's always talking about never existed what oh what Who's Henry? What are you talking about? It's an act. The guy's story changes every time he tells it. Mike would notice. Really? He would know. No, I don't think so. Why would anyone make Her a story attention, like that? Pretension, don't Because they're lonely, they want attention. There's all sorts of bullshit reasons. You have a very suspicious nature. For a good reason, lady. You have no idea. He's got to tell. Like a bad poker player, when he's lying, he rubs his wrist. Mm -hmm. Ten bucks says that when he talks about Judy, different story. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Uh, Jimmy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I applaud Jimmy for going out there, getting a job while he's waiting to become a lawyer again or to practice. But uh, this just seems so wrong. <laughs> I'm like, he's, he's a lawyer. Shouldn't be doing this. He's a lawyer. Not that there's anything wrong with working at a, a cell phone store. They are obviously not busy. Wow. Um, <laughs> he's like, give me a customer. <laughs> oh, God. CC Mobile, this is Jimmy. Hey, oh, how was the first morning? Boring. <laughs> But yeah, actually, it's a little, slow? little yeah. slow. Yeah, that store's always been a bit calmer. Just bring a book. <laughs> so this is <laughs> Just bring a book. I'm trying to think if I've ever had a job where I was that bored. I did work at Dillard's once. And it, when it was slow, I got pretty bored. Maybe not that bored, because there was always stuff to do. People leaving clothes in dressing rooms. People putting clothes where they shouldn't go. People just leaving piles of clothes on the floor. Okay. I don't like Nacho hanging out with the cousins. They just... <sighs> they creep me out, man. Yeah, look at Nacho. Poor guy, dude. Nos juntamos y nos atacamos esta noche. Uh, or they're gonna just go now? Okay. <laughs> Not just like what the what the hell? Hey, amigos. Just stay in the car, Nacho. <laughs> Let them do it. Let them do their, what they do. Oh God. So they set them up, obviously. That's what the beginning was about now, I see. Uh, Freaking A, man. Freaking A. Fucking son of a Like, yeah, that's why I said Nacho. Holy crud. I feel so bad for Nacho, you guys. Being put in this situation. And all he wanted to do was save his frickin' father. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. He's still healing, too. Like, what is he supposed to do? Oh, man. Because, like, he can't just sit there, right? Because they're going to be like, why didn't you jump in and help us? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Poor guy. Oh, boy. I need a drink. Oh God. Oh. Good shot, Nacho. Holy crap. Okay, you got one guy. You can go back in the car now. You did your duty. Oh my god, he can barely walk. There's one of the cousins, okay. God, what is he gonna do? Uh, Y'all don't know who you're dealing with? Shit, don't get nacho. 
God. Oh, I thought that. Okay, never mind. I thought that was Nacho for some reason. I thought they shot him again on accident. Come on, Nacho. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's, he's gonna pass out or something. Oh. Jesus. I was wondering where the other one was. <laughs> Not just trying to keep it together. Jesus Christ. So now he re injured himself? So wait, did he get shot? Maybe he did get shot. Maybe that was him. I don't know. I would have to rewind it and see. Either he got shot again, which is what I originally thought on accident, or um, he just like reopened his wound by <laughs> doing what he did. I don't know which one. Gus, can you please help this dude? Please, Gus. He is suffering. He's just doing what you want him to do. Like, get him, get him some real medical attention, please. We cleared out the espinosas. They're all done. The poor guy. It's territory, isn't it? Salamanca's wipe out the espinosas. Espinosa territory isn't for grabs. I think they gave it to you. Careful what you say, though, Nacho. Get some rest. You have more to do. But, um, a little help, Gus? Gus, come on. Gus? <laughs> the wound? <laughs> Shit. Okay, now we're gonna see who this guy is. Ah, that must be him. Okay. Willie, you hadn't quite finished. I don't know why I noticed it just then, but I hadn't thought about Maddie all morning. Mm. When I was making French toast, why didn't I remember that it, it's his favorite? Poor thing. I mean, what if I lose the sound of his voice? What if I forget him completely? Thank you, Stacy. You're not alone, truly. Poor Mike. A lot of us in this room have felt the same things you're talking about. I know I oh, have. Oh God, is he gonna call this guy out because he's upset? This won't be good if he calls him out. Not good. Don't do it, Mike. Don't do it. She always wanted to go to Sydney, but money was tight. He's doing the wrist. He's doing the wrist. Look. Oh, oh no. Mike, you have something you want to add? Oh no, he's gonna do it. I don't want to hear what I have to say. Mike, don't this do it. Was never married. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I hope he's right. He's been coming in here for months, selling you a bill of goods, getting you all misty-eyed and loving every minute of it. Stop. Awkward. He came to the right place, didn't he? All wrapped up in your sad little stories, feeding off each other's misery. Oh, don't do that, Mike. He's just a fuck. He's upset. He wanted me to talk. I talked. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not going. Okay. Nacho's dad. Did Nacho go home? I'm assuming. God, I hope it's Nacho and not anybody else. Dije que te fueras de mi casa. Tienes que irte ahorita mismo. Yeah, it's not true. Okay. Dios mío. Mijo. Papá, no. Necesitas ir al hospital. Papá, por favor. No llames a nadie. Te estaré a salvo. Si lo haces. You don't look okay, Nacho. Manifest doesn't say anything about. <laughs> yeah. We'll fix that. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Back to Jimmy and his boring job. Where's he going? Ace Rebar? There you go. Whoa, this is uh, more than we talked about. Yeah, Bavarian boy made quite a oh, splash that's the... at the Collectibles Expo. Okay. That's the dude. Cash came fast and clean. Got any more where that came from? Maybe. Maybe. No, not really. Eh, bummer. We're gonna do this again. I'm gonna say, give him a minute. I'll find He'll some. think Sounds of something. Good. When you do, call the vet. Yeah? Yeah, new job. Ah. New phone. Makes sense. Makes sense. You never know who's listening. You got to turn off the beer when you come down. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Jimmy, what are you doing? Is the man listening? Oh! Privacy sold here. <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting. It never gets old seeing that Los Pollos logo. Who's that tall guy? Do I know that tall guy? In order for our arrangement to continue, there is a matter we need to discuss. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you have something to tell me? You would be well advised to do so. Nacho Varga. Hmm. You looked me in the eye. You shook my hand. And all the while, you knew Varga was moving against my interests. So. What now? Don't tell me you want something to kill Nacho. You brought me here because you have an mm. ask. So why don't you stop running the game on me and just tell me about the job? Seriously? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's where they're going to end that episode? Okay then, friends. That was the end of that episode. I have a feeling... I don't know. God, I hope I'm wrong. I have a feeling he was going to talk about maybe asking Mike to kill Nacho, but please tell me I'm wrong. Oh my God. Oh my God. I really hope I'm wrong on that account. It's not that. I want to know what the job is. I can't believe they just left it like that. Well, I can believe it. Freaking cliffhangers, man. Okay. Anyway. 
That's it for that episode. Um, definitely a great episode, like always. I feel like I say that every time, but it's true. Not much Jimmy in this one, which is fine. Like that definitely happens sometimes. I did like what Jimmy did at the end with the <laughs> what he wrote on the windows. I was like, okay, okay. Now that has to bring in business. Do you know how many paranoid people there are out there? There might be some of y'all watching that might be a little paranoid about, you know, government and everybody creeping on you, listening to your phone calls and shit. <laughs> Forget I said that. Anyway, so yeah, that could bring in some business, I guess. We'll see. Okay, Nacho, dude. Nacho's breaking my heart. His story right now is breaking my heart. <sighs> I could feel myself getting a little teary-eyed when like his dad found him in the house and and he was just, I don't know. He's like stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know? It just sucks, it sucks. You know, he did all that for his dad and his dad is obviously upset with him and, but of course he's his son so he loves him and Oh God. I understand both sides. Like being a parent, I understand how his dad is feeling. Well, not how he's feeling because my child is not in the gang drug world. Thank God. Um, <laughs> knock on wood. But uh, as a parent, I understand the struggle, you know, like Obviously, you love your child. You want them to do what's right. You want the best for them. And Nacho's not doing that. But I don't think his dad kind of understands how stuck he is. Maybe he does now. After this episode, I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Mm, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to watch, honestly. And then Nacho just wants so badly to just make his dad proud, you know? And um, he saved his dad's life, no doubt about it, but now this is the cost, you know what I mean? It's just sad, it's really sad to watch. And I really love Gus, like, I don't know, some people might think that's weird that I love Gus. I love his character, but like, what he's doing to Nacho is driving me, driving me crazy. But um, I just really hope he doesn't, hurt him or kill him. I really hope he doesn't. What else? Mike? I don't know what's going to happen between him and Stacy. Uh, I'm sure she's really upset by what he did, but I understand why Mike was upset. I, I understand it. You know, like, especially if that guy was lying, which I'm assuming he was. Um, I understand why he got upset and finally broke and said something. I think I've said this before too, but I think one of the worst things that could ever happen to somebody is losing a child. No matter how old your child is, it's still your baby. Um, and so, and I personally know somebody that that has happened to. And if you're watching this, you know who you are and like your strength. Oh my God. It just amazes me every day. And I love you so much. <laughs> you know who you are. Won't say your name, but you know who you are if you're watching. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know how people just keep going, you know? I guess some have to because they have other kids or whatever it may be, but um, I just can't imagine what Mike is going through, honestly. And then hearing Stacy talk about it, which she did nothing wrong. She said nothing wrong. She's healing, which is good. I can understand. She's healing. But I can understand how that would sound to Mike as well. Yeah, I hope that made sense. Okay. I hope what I said made sense. I don't know. I'm still... This is my first video back from visiting my grandma, so... Yeah, I'm getting back into the, the swing of things. So hopefully everything made sense. Um, but anyway, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. 
Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe below. I think, I think I reached um, 900 subscribers. I adore you. Thank you. Which is awesome. Round of applause. Only 100 more to my goal, 1,000, which is awesome. So we can do this. Thank you all, everybody who has subscribed. Thank you, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, if you do want to watch like full episodes with me, check down below for the link. I would love to have y'all. Um, what else? I think that's it. Mm, yeah, good to be back, and um, I will see you all on the next video. Bye, friends.